<clears throat> okay, uh, this is the video segment for chapter 18. And chapter 18, 18 deals with a, 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 a mechanical thermostat. Basically, a bimetallic strip made of aluminum and steel, which are fully bonded at the interface. The left end of these, uh, the left end as shown here is clamp, and the entire assembly goes to a temperature rise of 50 degrees Fahrenheit. This has to be solved as an assembly problem, and uh, uh, that's what we're going to do that. That's what we're going to do. So uh, let's start with uh, uh, a, an assembly uh, file or product file. File new product. And let, let's insert the first part, insert new part in there. And I'm going to call this thing uh, aluminum, which is going to go on the top. So uh, properties, uh, what is this? Uh, I want to change the name right here, aluminum. Aluminum, aluminum strip. And aluminum strip. Aluminum strip. Okay. Let's make it just a box. So double clicking on this. On a convenient plane, say on this vertical plane, I use a sketch. Uh, why don't I make a nice centered, centered uh, rectangle? Like so. We're gonna dimension fix the dimension in a second. So this this is six inches. And uh, this one is uh, uh, one inch. Exit. And I'm gonna pad this thing up by 0.25. 0.25 inches. And let's apply material uh, uh, properties of uh, aluminum in this thing. So metal, aluminum on this part. Let me say okay. By the way, I want to change the color. Maybe I'll change the color of the next one. Okay, so then insert new part in there. And I'm going to call this in the uh, steel steel strip so properties steel strip strip and steel strip okay let's make it double click on this on a convenient plane on that same xy plane I will sketch sketch exactly the same thing now what we can do is we can actually project these edges so uh, we might as well do that because the same geometry or you have to uh, draw it again so uh, it's up to you so uh, what is the projection uh, there is a projection so I'm going to do this project it then I'm going to do this let me see for a second not that. Project. Project uh, this and project. I keep clicking on mirror there and finally there. And exit and pad it in the other direction. The value of 0.25. Okay, let me also change the color of this. So properties, graphics, let's call, change it to yellow. Now I do want to point out, by the way, uh, make it out of steel. Yeah, before we forget. Uh, material property, metal, scroll down, strip on this part. Now before we go any further, notice that for the geometry that we've got here, uh, 
xz is a plane of symmetry. In other words, all I have to do is to make a cut here. And I will do that after I finish this problem without using any planes of symmetry as it's done in the book. But on the, on the exam, uh, you will be said, you will be asked to use all planes of symmetry and you have to use the xz as a plane of symmetry. All right, so this is pretty much done. And we're going to go to... Uh, uh, we're going to go to generative structure analysis. Katia immediately sees two solid objects and it's going to mesh them both. Let me change the rendering here. All right, now these uh, these meshes are very large. So let me change this thing to maybe 0.1. Uh, type linear. Okay, and the other one also 0.1. 0.1. So linear, let's look, what did I do here, point 0.1, I accidentally changed the side, I didn't mean it. Okay, so let's look at the mesh. You can see that right here. If I change the, the color, maybe I can see it better. So let me change this thing to perhaps yellow and change the other one to white or maybe uh, well, how about the uh, green okay you can see that so right there now uh, all right very good you activate this The left uh, ends are clamped, see that? Now, I have to create a connection between the top face of the yellow piece and the bottom face of the gray piece, piece uh, because these are uh, coming from different material and we are told that they're fully bonded. So create an analysis connection, general analysis connection. Let me hide this thing for the first component the top face of uh, this uh, bottom piece, which is a steel. And for the second component, the bottom face of uh, this uh, aluminum piece. Okay, and just so that we can see it, we bring it in the front, right there. Okay, good. So we have created the connection. It's right there in the tree. And the nature of this connection, because they're fully bonded, we're going to say uh, fasten. So look for face-to-face -face analysis connection. See in this toolbar right there, in this toolbar. Uh, first first sub-toolbar is face-to-face uh, -face connections right there. And the fasten is, I believe, the third one. Third one, select it from the tree. And you say, OK. What it does, it puts a fastener sign. Uh, let me hide these uh, TET elements. It puts a fastener sign there, but this has nothing to do with bolts and fastener, things like that. All that means they're fully bonded. The, the load comes from thermal stresses. So let's go and click on uh, uh, temperature field uh, on the top one and on the bottom one. Both they go through a temperature rise of 50 degrees Fahrenheit. So let me change that thing to 50 Fahrenheit. And it's going to convert it to uh, Kelvin because uh, that's what my units are. If you double click on this, where's the load here? If you double click on the temperature field already converted, added to set, it would, you know, yeah, so. Good, that's pretty much it. Now, the one thing you have to realize that the top is aluminum, the bottom is steel. Top being aluminum means that this coefficient of thermal expansion is uh, bigger than the aluminum, uh, than, than the steel, okay? And if it's bigger, that means that it's going to try to maybe become longer more than the steel. And this is why this is gonna bend down. So knowing, uh, knowing the properties of uh, Material properties of these things you can actually predict where it's going. This is going to bend down, I'm sure. Yes, so let's look at the deformation. 
Uh, oh, wait a minute. Sorry. Uh, wait a minute. Which one has a higher? Let me actually see. I'm not sure now. Uh, which one was aluminum? Was the top one aluminum? Let me deactivate this. Let me deactivate that. I have to take back what I said. Uh, first, let me deactivate it. Okay. So the top is. Let's find out. The top is aluminum. Aluminum has a bigger coefficient of thermal expansion. So it wants to actually. Sorry, it wants to grow more. And. Uh, the steel will prevent it. Okay, the bottom is steel, and the steel will prevent it. So this actually bends up. All right. Okay. And you can look at the stresses, stress distribution, which is one has to be very careful in using using these things for granted because there's you need a very fine mesh in the area where the interface is because there's this, the stress discontinuity. So right now I'm just showing you the process. I'm not uh, no, I have no confidence in the values of, uh, you know, the values that we're generating. Okay. Now, what else do I have here? Uh, oh, I wanted to show you what happens if you actually uh, use symmetry. So let's go back to the model that we have in the back, right there. This model in the back. Okay. So we're going to cut it with that uh, plane. Uh, where are we? we have to go to uh, assembly design. Get the saw out. Where is the saw? We've got to find the saw here for assembly. So let's pull these things out. Uh, all right. I cannot see. I cannot see the saw here. So uh, maybe we have to reset the toolbars because I just can't see it. So tools. Customize Okay, so toolbars, restore all content, restore positions, say okay, and let's see if we can find the saw now. It must be a saw somewhere. See that. Oh, the reason that we can't see it is actually I'm not in the assembly design. So double click on it. Now you can see the assembly design right there. Here's the saw. And we're going to cut it with uh, uh, this plane. And it says these two parts are affected. Yes, I know. I want both of them. It's going to be cutting it with that plane. Notice it's already cut it. Okay. It's already cut it. Okay, good. So now if we go to, uh, if we go back to analysis, the cut has already been made, and we want to create, a, select, a put, put surface slider on these two sides, on these two sides. So let me change the rendering here. Okay, so uh, where are we? Okay, let's go to... Uh, see here is this icon see this icon for uh, uh, surface slider it's uh, not active so uh, uh, 
let me see maybe the maybe the easiest thing is just to go from product right here it's going to be a good review uh, so from here go to the analysis and simulation generative structure analysis okay same thing as before change the rendering here okay let's see now clamp this side and that side surface slider this face and that face load same thing that we had before uh, the number has already been converted to Kelvin so these two and now create a connection so I create a connection between Hoytis the top face and for the second component the bottom face of uh, this guy bring it in the front there and uh, that's pretty much it so let's run it the only difference between this and the previous one is that this is cut into half and surface slider is put on these oh connections connections sorry so connection oh we already did that sorry right here we already did that it's right there and now we declare this thing as fastened so uh, look at the face-to-face -face analysis connections which is right here all right, face to face uh, fasten is the third one, and this is going to be fasten. Now we can run it. Same thing is going to happen. This is going to bend up, just like in the previous case, and I predicted uh, incorrectly. So uh, just a little of thinking will tell you how it's going to bend. So it's up, okay? So uh, that.